cherry lovers. I'm uh, and the wife are going up here today to check on the high tunnel. We, I got a, they got a lot of snow up here, and I got to get this uh, checked to make sure that everything's okay. Because I don't want the high tunnel to collapse because there's too much snow. So we're going back up there again and see if I can't use. Uh, I don't know who who put that on a comment, but they said it looked like a Q-tip for an elephant, so I'm going to go try and use my Q-tip and see if I can't get this snow off the high tunnel. So keep watching, people, and you get to see everything we did today. Unbelievable snow. We're up here to clean the high tunnel off to get the snow off. And I'm actually trying to figure out how to get in here because the snow is so deep, so... I'll try to go walk in Larry's steps. Okay. Hopefully we don't have to be up here too long. I can hear Larry, whoo, already. <laughs> He's only been out there a couple of minutes. I know that snow is heavy and it is uh, I think the temperature is around 26, it said. I think. Okay. Wow. As you can see, lots and lots of snow. On the high tunnel roof. Okay, let's go down here and see how this is coming. Oh, it's hella hard. You wouldn't think it would be, but it is. It is. This is work, people. It's a lot more snow. I'm glad to see the high tunnels holding it. It's. Uh, if I had to go another snowstorm, it wouldn't. So we got to get cleaned off, and then we'll go from there. As you can see, the snow banks on the side. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you how much snow we got. That's what I did before. We're taking a break. You ain't lying. This is a lot more work than I ever imagined. <laughs> And we've been out here at least an hour. Let me see. What time was it when we got here? Uh, I don't know. All I know is that that up there has about pretty close to 12 inches. And before it had six and it slid right off. This has 12. And it is work. It's coming off, but it is work. Yeah. You guys, look at our little, uh, it's been coming off because look at the, the, snow banks on the side but uh it's there's a lot up there and i have to get it all off people yeah as you can see a lot of it is open from uh moving it off the high tunnel but it still has a long way to go <laughs> unbelievable got about half of it you gotta take a break like i said this 60 year old man has to has to rest. This is this is more exercise than probably two weeks worth of going to the gym. Trust me. Um, I'm going to repeat the question that Larry asked the last time he did that. 
if any of you guys know anything about how to remove snow <laughs> from a high tunnel other than this gadget that Larry and I are using, then please let us know. And Leave a got, message. We've gotten more snow this year than we have in many, many past years. So this is a lot of snow out here. For, like I said, look at the snow banks coming off this thing. Unbelievable. Yes, as you can see, those little hills between each of those poles is the snow that fell off the high town. Well, hey, I'm sitting down, people. Look at how high they are. And not only that, if you see our truck sitting to the road, it's because we can't get in. It snowed so much. So we decided that rather than heat the house up and everything, we were just gonna snow blow, or I mean, clean the high tunnel off and go back home and not stay up here on the farm this weekend. So I just thought I'd let you guys know that. It's, yep, it's winter up here. Now I'm ready for spring. Or, uh, March can get here real quick. We can start worrying about doing all the spring and summer chores because I'm tired of winter now. As you can see from this angle, how deep that snow is, how thick it is on top of the high tunnel. Look at that. You can see where it's falling down in places, but how much more we have to go. This is a lot of work. And Larry is still out there, but my toes were frozen, so I came in to warm them up. Well, actually came inside the truck. Take a look at all that snow.